Hey everyone, welcome back to Angry Admin Channel. Today we are diving deep into a recent incident that has caused a lot of confusion and concern in cybersecurity world, the CrowdStrike outage. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on news and insight from IT world. On Friday, when I was preparing to record the tech tidbits, I was hit in the face with this IT outage. First things first, I want to clear up a major point of confusion. Contrary to what my people initially thought, this outage was not related to Microsoft. Let's break down why this confusion happened and what actually went wrong. When the outage first occurred, many users and even news outlets mistakenly attribute the issue to Microsoft service outage. This confusion streams from the close integration between CrowdStrike's Falcon platform and Microsoft. However, after further investigation, it was confirmed that the problems lay solely within CrowdStrike's domain. Furthermore, the Windows systems, which are not using CrowdStrike, were not affected. This brings us to the heart of today's topic, the genesis of CrowdStrike outage. So, what exactly went wrong? On July 19th, 2024, a faulty update to CrowdStrike's Falcon sensor caused widespread blue screen of that error on Windows system globally. The issue was traced to a specific file name, which become corrupt during the update process. This file is a part of Falcon Sensors channel files and its corruption leads to system instability and crashes. This Faulty update caused a global impact, affecting various sectors, including airports, healthcare, public sector, grocery stores, and businesses like my company was affected. I spent 12 hours, not myself, but with the teams, trying to revert um, the damage. CrowdStrike quickly identified the issue and roll back the problematic update. However, to get a rollback, your system had to be online. Most of the systems didn't boot, so the damage has been done. Now, let's talk about why CrowdStrike was at fault. The primary issue was a lack of redundancy and resilience in the update deployment process. While it's common for software updates to occasionally cause issue, the severity and widespread nature of the outage highlighted 
significant gaps in CrowdStrike quality assurance and testing protocols before rolling out critical updates. And this is a good place to remind you all, don't test on production and don't roll out anything on Friday. Thank you. So how did CrowdStrike go about fix the issue? The remediation was a multi-step process. The primary solution involved deleting the corrupt file, which means booting Windows in the safe mode or Windows recovery environment, navigate to the CrowdStrike directory, locate the file, delete it and reboot host tree normally. However, this process was complicated for system encrypted with BitLocker. BitLocker encryption add an extra layer of difficulty as it's required unlocking the encrypted volume before the corrupted file could be accessed and deleted. Users had to use manage BDA command in the Windows pre-install environment to unlock BitLocker protected drive. Also, we found a workaround using group policies. For that, you have to create a policy which force safe mode using PowerShell script and another policy which would run the script to delete file and reboot system. There was also a PowerShell script for VMs in Azure environment, and there was a workaround for all other clouds. Anyway, there was a lot of manual work and it took a bit of time um, to remedy the issue. And I think it was the biggest outage, uh, IT outage so far. What we could see on the social media was obviously commentary about the issue, uh, loads of memes, but also um, something which I didn't like too much, I saw on the X where Kaspersky tweet, and I'll quote now, you wouldn't see this with any of our products, just saying. Which is obviously not true, because uh, Kaspersky products contained multiple bugs, uh, which result in the blue screen of death uh, on many occasions uh, in 2020 and in 2023. So um, it's a bit unfair um, to say that. CrowdStrike has issued several statements uh, since the outage, acknowledging uh, the disruption and detailing their steps to prevent future incidents. They have committed to enhance their infrastructure resilience, improving their backup and recovery process and increasing transparency with their clients. CrowdStrike CEO confirmed that the fix was deployed and they don't believe this was security incident or cyber attack. Instead, it was critical update failure. In conclusion, while the CrowdStrike outage was a significant event, it has proven valuable lessons for both the company and its clients. It highlighted the importance of robust infrastructure, redundancy and transparent communication during the crisis. What do you think about the CrowdStrike outage? Um, do you trust the remediation steps or are you considering alternatives? Let me know in the comment below. And as always, uh, if you find this video helpful, please give it thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with your network. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. Bye.